Good morning and happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, June the 16th, and um, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Christine Kingston, and I'm a grateful three-year recovering addict, and I come to you from Elizabeth City, North Carolina, to read to you the Day by Day by Hazelden, the Daily Reflections by Alcoholics Anonymous, and the Just for Today Daily Meditation by Narcotics Anonymous. And I read these so you don't have to. And I also do unboxings of several subscription boxes, um, lifestyle boxes, and um, I even have a plant box that comes in before every new moon. So um, I am, that is on the way and should be here on Thursday. And um, I also have giveaways on my channel, and I have a giveaway going on right now from June June the 15th through July the 2nd at 11.59 p.m., and that video was put up yesterday, but I will leave a link to it down in my description box, so make sure you go in there and put in Enter Me and be publicly subscribed to my channel, 18 years or older, and have a U.S. shipping address. And um, also, um, I do face masks Saturday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so we have a lot of fun over there, so come out and join me. So today, we're going to start off with um, the day-by-day, -day, June the 16th, and it says, Wearing Masks. Wow. Our personality types don't differ much from the rest of society, except that we couldn't stop abusing mind-altering chemicals. We were the power people, intellectuals, lives of the party, the, the spenders, the flower children, the parent figures, the experts, the revolutionists, or anything else that seemed to get us our way. The masks we wore were defenses, and because of our defenses, we only living partially. We were only living partially. By working the program, our defenses ceased to be so important to us. Step by step, we become full people, living full lives, no longer bound to society, defenses, or mind-altering chemicals. Then we can enjoy living rather than masquerading. Have I stopped wearing masks? Yes. Lord, deliver me from the partial existence by my own frailty. And let me live fully through your divine will. Sorry about that. Um, I was having trouble with that word. Um, and yes, I'm glad that I am no longer wearing the mask that protected me while I was, um, using, um, mind-altering chemicals, and, um, I am glad that, um, I am three years, six months, and 17 days clean today. <clears throat> okay, we're going to move on to the Alcoholics Anonymous Daily Reflections. Open-mindedness. We have found that God does not make it too hard, too hard terms with those who seek Him. To to us, the realm of spirit is broad, roomy, all-inclusive, never exclusive or forbidding to those who earnestly seek. It is open, we believe, to all men. As Bill sees it, page seven. Open mind in us to concept of a higher power can open doors to the spirit. Often I find the human spirit in various dogmas and faiths. I can be spiritual in the sharing of myself. The sharing of self joins me to the human race and brings me closer to God as I understand him. And yes, um, open-mindedness does bring you closer to um, your goal in finding a higher power greater than yourself. Um, and it really does not matter what that higher power is as long as it's something greater than yourself. Um, not everybody believes in the same God that I believe in, and I'm not trying to force that on anyone. 
So just remember that as I read that when I use the word God, it's the God of your understanding, not mine. So with that being said, this one I will need my glasses for. And I've got a hair that is in my eyes. June the 16th, Accepting Life. Some things we must accept, others we can change. The wisdom to know the difference comes with growth in our spiritual program. Basic text, page 95. It's relatively easy to accept the things we like. It's the things we don't like that are hard to accept. But remaking, but remaking the world and everyone in it to suit our taste will solve, taste will solve nothing. After all, the idea that the world was to blame for all our problems was the attitude that kept us using, and the attitude nearly killed us. In the course of working the steps, we begin to ask ourselves hard questions about the roles we ourselves have played in creating the unacceptable lives we live. In most cases, we found that we needed changing what needed changing was our own attitude and our own actions, not the people, places, and things around us. In recovery, we pray for wisdom to know the difference between what we can and can't, what what can and can't be changed. Then once we see the truth of our situation, we pray for the willingness to change ourselves. Just for today, Higher power, grant me the wisdom to know the difference between what can be changed and what I must accept. Please help me be help me gratefully accept the life I've been given. And I am grateful for the life that I have been given because um not too many people um survive this disease and um sorry. I still have that hair. Um, not too many people um, survived this disease, and I'm glad that I am one of them that it has, and I'll be able to pass my knowledge on to you on not exactly how to do it, but some of the steps and the things that I chose to do um, to be able to have this new life. So with that being said, I'm going to close with the serenity prayer. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference just for today. And remember, guys, this is not the only thing I do. I do unboxings of subscription boxes, and my boxy Lux came in today, and it is heavy, so... Um, I can't wait to open it, and um, I hope you guys will um, watch that video. And um, also, right now, I have a giveaway that's going on, so please remember to be publicly subscribed. 18 years or older, have a U.S. shipping address, and I guess I need to do a disclosure that YouTube is not affiliated with any of my giveaways. I purchase my products um, myself or I pass them along to you for my subscription boxes that I get. And um, I also have face masks Saturday night and I hope you guys come out and check it out. And um, I'm also an affiliate with Moon Glow Jewelry. So all of those links um, to the subscription boxes that I get are down in the description box. And please follow those links. Um, I do not make any commission off of anything but um, the Moon Glow Jewelry. Um, that would help me out. Um, I'm relatively new to being an affiliate with someone, but um, I have learned. Um, I'm learning. So, with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Love you lots. Bye-bye.